the newspapers today, uh, we have Ian Royce, who's described as a comedian. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 it says, it says no, you're a comedian. That's what it says. Well, I I've, I've, must have been off that day. No, I think you were. <laughs> you? <laughs> Lovely to see you, Lovely to see always you. good to see you. And we've got the broadcaster, Liz Fraser, who's always here for debates yeah. and various things. Good to see you, Liz. And uh, we've got to start with uh, Kate's, Kate's pictures. Kate's agony, yeah. it says here, the mirror. Kate's agony at topless pictures. This is the French version of Closer magazine, uh, due to, to uh, publish those today, I think, isn't it? And, and I think already on the internet. Um, what do you make of this one? It makes me so cross. It makes me so cross that someone is not allowed to have a, a, a private life. And it's not just her, because actually I don't mind whether it's her or anybody else. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. It's just the principle of someone not being able to just go away on their own. And the real problem now is that we all have these, you know, phones with cameras. Everybody's carrying a camera. So it doesn't have to be your long lens, you know, we'll take a picture from f five miles away. And people don't seem to be able to understand that we have our public life, which is what we're all yeah. doing now, but when we all leave the studio, you're a private person, you're just you and you can go shopping. Why do we have to take pictures all the time? Do you think the royals are entitled to privacy? Yeah, yeah no, I think privacy. they are, and I think everyone's entitled to privacy, whether, whether you're a royal or not. I mean, you know, when I go in my garden, I don't expect people looking over the fence taking pictures. Yeah, I'm sorry who about that, I won't oh, again. There, there are queues in, in my little village. <laughs> uh, but it, it, once again, what annoys me is the French that have gone and, and printed... I mean, I actually oh, have removed the croissants from the green room. <laughs> Uh, protest. In protest, the, the French have once again uh, come out and done well, the picture. And I can't actually believe they've done the picture, to be honest with you. I mean, well, of course they've done matter. the picture. Of I mean, course they've done the, the reason they've done the picture is because they know people are going to go and buy the yeah, magazine. And yeah. the problem now, of course, is that you can have laws in place and you can say this, that, and the other isn't allowed. The fact is that the photograph exists, it will go on the internet, it will go viral. And I mean, the lawmakers have got a real job on there. How are they ever supposed to stop this happening? I feel really sorry for them waking up this morning. What and also the day. timing, you know, they're on yes. the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we have the power, really, because if we don't uh, buy or we don't look, look. Yeah. then oh, there's no do. market for so would you? So now that you know they're there, are you going to look? Honestly, truly, yes. I would probably look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I had to be really honest, I will probably look. And I think a lot of people watching who are... And, uh, you go online and you read all the comments and say, oh, I think it's terrible. This article I've just been re reading is awful. Well, you read it. We are curious. We I'm, are I'm curious not, and we I'm look. not going to look. You are such a no, liar. I've, I've already looked. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, let's move on now and uh, we go to the Hillsborough tragedy and uh, the fallout from this, the Sun headline Yeah, today. this is the Chief Constable who was part of the operation at the time, Sir Norman Betterson, uh, families of the... Uh, uh, the families of the dead people, 96 dead, say this top cop must go. They're looking for his resignation. He says he's done nothing wrong. Very hard story to comment on, really. So many lives and so much sadness. Um, I think with all these stories, there are many stories like this which come up over the years, not like this, but you know, where, where uh, someone is calling for the resignation of someone at the top. And I am someone who always questions whether that is the answer, whether, whether you know, rolling heads really does actually does do anything I yeah if they weren't they there at the it. time maybe he was but there he was at the there. time yeah, um somehow on on his beat this happened on his watch and somehow statements to the taylor inquiry were altered i mean he Not says he's nothing to hide and he's denied that he ever altered statements but statements were altered no, and I mean, he was in the, charge. the bottom line is that he put himself on duty uh, that day um so therefore he stands under the banner of the police uh, that mm -hmm. were policing that event um, and he has to face the consequences of that report uh, that is very damning towards the police. Now, the bit that annoys me more than anything, so many people are now coming out and saying sorry. Frankly, too late, a lot Where of were them. You but he ago? is absolutely still not able to say the word sorry, mm. even though he put himself on duty. And it categorically states in that report uh, that the fans were not responsible mm. for anything that happened that day. Well, he's, he's, he's said, he's, hasn't he, angered the, the fans he's yesterday, come out now. he's said again. What kind of so, man yeah. comes out now with this much passion that feeling? Well, a man is looking to save his own bacon. Yeah. Mm, well, I yeah. think he should get his £200,000 a year job and walk out the door, but he won't because yeah. he seems that arrogant. And that word sorry as well is just bandied mm. about everywhere now, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry for this. You know, it doesn't, I don't know about you, but I don't feel when someone publicly he comes out and says, oh, I don't feel they really mean it, or if you do mean it, then follow it through, show that you're sorry, and take some action. OK, well, let's uh, move on to what defines... Uh, this is a story in The Express, what defines a beautiful woman. Oh, Eamon, and how can you say that <laughs> sitting next to Ruth? Well, it's inside both of you here. But what, <laughs> it's what? me. A beautiful cool. woman is kind, polite, and loves watching Corrie. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all the things yeah, yeah. that I would think... This is a picture of you, Ruth. Exactly. I, I, I sort of don't think, you know, when I describe a beautiful woman, I don't think she watches Coronation Street, she will be a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. it's, not, it's not the picture I have. They say in this report that, that uh, a woman defines it by kindness, great smile, sense of humour, nice manners, compassion, confidence, intelligence, yeah. bright eyes, unselfish, flawless skin, looks like Kelly Brook, Cheryl Cole and Jennifer Anderson. I, I like They're everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Kelly Brook, <thing>. They're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> These no women pressure. are everywhere. No pressure. No pressure. I mean, come on. No. Exactly. But th th when people came to choose their actual idea of a beautiful modern yeah. woman, it was. It was Kelly Brook, Cheryl Cole and Jennifer Aniston, who are well known for their, uh, whatever, or the entire list was intelligence, watching unselfishness, Corrie. And watching yeah. Corrie. But it was quite nice. I thought, you know, number one was kindness. It's you know, not you great often hair and legs. Yes, How often do I tell you that? Men you just say, really... just be nice, don't you? Correct. Men are really looking for nice. Oh, I think, and a woman, you're look, well, you know, what, what, what planet are you off? I was going to say, you know, oh, you're you something, what are you trying to impress that. the lady? When you male? experience someone What's who's not nice, about? you can have beautiful and they're not nice. Yeah. Look, when they come around, they ask you the survey, and this lady comes up to you and asks the survey, of course you're going to say, yes, yes, we look for kind, yes, yeah. 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 The conversation we had in the makeup room was not entirely the same as this. I say it's all. I but you know. wouldn't want to date a woman, all your friends go, oh, she's not very good looking, and you go, yeah, but she's very but kind. But she's so kind. I oh, mean, it just doesn't, no, no. Oh, I think beauty, I mean, everyone finds different people beautiful, so I'm not questioning what Thank that goodness. is. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for your wife. Exactly. exactly. My wife is you know? very, very low. I'm very kind to my wife. <laughs> very kind. Are you also brunette and confident and compassionate? I'm, I'm not brunette, but I'm very confident. Yeah, can and I I'm very... What, what makes a beautiful man, anyway? Yeah, can we do, that? We have to reverse. do that one? But, yeah, let us know yes, what makes a beautiful man. What would? Sense of humour, darling. That's why I love you. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah, no, we're still together. He's he makes a com me laugh. You must be a he's magnet. A comedian, being a comedian, be a I, it's a complete magnet. A complete <laughs> magnet. I've got people like Cheryl Cole running up to me every day. No, I'm saying, talking of being romantic and lovely, I love this story. Look at this proposal. This is Lawrence Keyes, 19 years old, mm -hmm. and he was on the log flume at Thorpe Park. And you know, when you come down the end, they take that picture. Yeah. Look. Will you marry me? So he got all his friends involved, and that's his girlfriend. She didn't know this was all going on behind her until they got to the end. You go and collect your photograph. Don't you think that's the most romantic, sweetest thing? I think he's lucky he brought the right banners around, put, right right put them in the right order. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's about this girl. Her whole life has been waiting for this one moment uh, where the man is going to drop to his knee in that romantic setting and all her dreams will come true. She's on a log flume. Oh, I think it's covered in water. She's just lucky he, he asked her. I had to ask my husband to marry me, you see. Did you? <laughs> I did. I couldn't be bothered to do the queue out two hour queue yeah, to get yeah. on the log flume. And then you've got, got to got pay bored. for the picture as well. You've got to pay for the picture. Know, I, I don't know. I think just... Do you think he got it on a key ring? Yeah. He's just walking around now with a key I ring. Look, look, see, when that's lovely, Sophie, when they, imagine when they have oh. children and they say, how did Daddy propose to you, Mum? And you say, yeah. there, look, it's there. Yeah. We'll go back. It's lovely, Lawrence. Yes, lovely, Lawrence. Don't listen to Sorry, yes, we are cynics. Uh, yeah, if you're out and about driving uh, today, be careful if you go down. What's that road? Do you drive down past Stonehenge? What drive road? Oh, yes. Oh, this is good. No, I do. This is the road going past Stonehenge yeah, in Wiltshire. The a it's the A303. Yes. Yeah. The A303. Yeah. I've done this myself. They're saying, actually, that so many accidents are caused mm -hmm. by people driving and doing that at Stonehenge. I think they yeah. should take Stonehenge down. I do. <laughs> I think it's clearly ridiculous. <laughs> we should just take it away. It's causing so many accidents. It's just a load of rocks yeah. in a field. Do you know, know what I do? Stone. When, yeah. I, when I'm driving down the A303, I constantly do that, looking at women who watch Coronation Street. <laughs> yes. <laughs> constantly. Yeah, I'm That's summertime right. in well, London. The worst, well, the worst thing is accidents, isn't it? Accidents just causes more accidents. And That's again, true. it's that same thing about being curious. And you okay. know How you can you not look Stonehenge? It's amazing. It's so amazing. Amazing. I've done Do it myself. Fortunately, I haven't crashed into anybody. Have you, I don't. I, yeah. I, you don't get it. No, I, I honestly don't. Small. Get it. Is it for you? Is it it's just, just stone? much smaller? It's just and all these people queue to go and look at this bit of stone out of the ground. Yeah, I mean, but in the old days, it was quite cool because you could go there. You could you walk, walk around yeah. and you could get it. But now yeah. you're a million in miles away. Two hundred and seventy-three AD or sure. whatever. Yes, yeah. that would be going to the you, garden centre. <laughs> are you one of those drivers? Are you one of those drivers who's pranged your car looking at Stonehenge? Let us know. Um, and let us know anything else that we talked about this morning, what you think. Matt's in the hub with some of your comments already.